Will the innovative automated people mover at LAX be a breath of fresh air for passengers? Or is the project just so much hot air? With a price tag of $5.5 billion, the public-private partnership behind the landmark development is betting the farm on the former. The automated people mover, APM, is the centerpiece of the landside access modernization program currently underway at Los Angeles International Airport, better known as LAX, one of the largest and busiest airports in the world. The work is designed to improve airport accessibility and enhance the overall traveler experience. The project first broke ground in March 2019 and is scheduled to open next year, meaning that you won't have long to wait to try out this new system if you regularly travel through LAX. But what exactly is an APM anyway? Well, it's actually more exciting than it sounds. The APM will be an electric train system that runs on a 2.25 mile elevated guideway. See, I told you it was exciting. Trains will pass through a total of six stations, three of which will be inside the central terminal area and three outside of it. The idea is to make getting into and around the airport a breeze. To the east of the airport, the line will zip over Sepulveda Boulevard before skirting along the airfield and turning north to cross Century Boulevard to arrive at the LAX West Intermodal Transportation Facility. From here, as you can see, the route heads east along 96th Street, crossing the metro tracks to stop at its next port of call, the East ITF Station. If they wish, passengers can stay aboard to ride the short distance to the LAX Consolidated Rent-A-Car Facility, a mega parking structure that will be home to all major car rental companies operating at LAX. Along with the APM trains, the airport's escalators, elevators, and moving sidewalks have been designed to offer travelers speedy access to stations and terminals. Best of all, using the APM will be completely free. One of the key challenges that the APM project aims to address is that of traffic congestion. If you've ever been to LA, I don't need to tell you just how bad traffic is in general, especially around the airport. Just getting in and out of LAX has you in need of a vacation. As one of the most congested cities in the whole of the US, commuters spend an average of 119 hours a year stuck in traffic. Consistent, heavy traffic jams make it difficult to get from one part of the city to another and cause public transport to run late, which all adds up to a major problem on the road and a major headache for commuters, not to mention the serious effect on air quality throughout LA. Which brings us right back to the APM, which could be the caped crusader of congestion, getting cars off the road, especially in the hotspot vicinity of LAX. As well as cutting down on congestion, the APM should be effective in significantly reducing the airport's carbon footprint. How will it do this? For starters, the fleet of train cars will be 100% electric, capable of generating some of their own power via regenerative braking. Impressive. And that's not all. The APM's command center and maintenance facility is set to generate almost half its power from solar energy. As you can imagine, any airport's carbon footprint is pretty gigantic. However, the APM project isn't the only thing that LAX has been doing to lighten its tread on the planet's surface. The airport's single-use plastic water bottle ban came into effect from 2023, while 1,200 EV charging stations, like these, have been added to the central terminal area and at the new car parking facility. As well as these initiatives, the LAX food donation policy, adopted in 2020, means that vendors selling or distributing food in the airport must sign up to a food donation program, which involves excess edible food being donated to those in need. Plus, LAX is working hard to reduce its water consumption, partly through increasing the use of reclaimed water. In 2021, the amount of reclaimed water used increased to 27 million gallons representing an amazing 39% increase from 2019. But how has this exciting development progressed to date? Pre-construction work such as geotechnical investigations, surveying and utility relocations began in 2018, with building work officially getting started the following year. In 2020, the first concrete for the guidelines columns was poured, marking an important milestone in the project. APM cars were delivered in 2022, and extensive testing work is now underway. The new system, originally set to start welcoming passengers in 2023, is now slated to open in 2025. The project is one of staggering proportions. Construction of the elevated guideway alone necessitated the pouring of 69,700 square yards of concrete and 1 million working hours. 
In the 2000s, LAX held the dubious distinction of being one of the nation's hardest to navigate as well as congested airports. Just look at those queues. In short, making your way around the complex was the exact opposite of a fun time. As a result of this bad rap, airport managers shelled over $15 billion for improvements to the airport, with the APM a key part of these plans. LA's successful bid to host the 2028 Summer Olympics gave the added impetus to this commitment, ultimately resulting in the project nearing completion today. Let's go back to the APM itself to look at the details of just how it could vastly improve the congestion around LAX and help travelers navigate the airport with ease. The stats are impressive. The fleet will consist of 44 train cars, each of which will accommodate up to 50 passengers. Good start. But when you add this to the fact that the APM will operate on a 24-7 basis, with trains arriving every two minutes, this makes for a system capable of moving tens of thousands of people every day, which means getting tens of thousands of vehicles off the road as a result. And the end-to-end -end travel time? A mere 10 minutes. That is one slick system. But building the guideway for the APM has been a massive undertaking in itself. What's so hard about building a guideway, you ask? Well, this is no normal guideway. As well as running over traffic on Century Boulevard and Sepulveda Boulevard, it also needs to be built around existing structures, like the P2B garage. This meant that custom construction solutions had to be found. Bespoke balanced cantilevered systems were brought into play, boasting integrated hydraulics, high load-bearing capacities, and safe access solutions, allowing crews to move from section to section and transfer concrete loads into the supporting structure. The architecture of the six APM stations is noteworthy too, both in terms of aesthetics and innovation of construction. Each benefit from huge circular skylights, while the walkways make use of a Virendil truss, which features rectangular bracing as opposed to the more traditional triangular bracing as seen here. All of the stations apart from Terminal 9 will have a single island platform, serving the trains running in both directions. Along with the clean sweep of the guidelines, the overall design is gentle, uniform and somehow soothing. Well, maybe soothing is going a little too far, but you get the idea. The impact of LAX's new APM is likely to be profound especially given that it's just one prong, albeit the most impressive prong, of the LAX Landside Access Modernization Program. Other elements of the plan include the construction of two intermodal transportation facilities, each with their own parking areas, which will allow for pickups and drop-offs for personal vehicles, shuttles, buses, taxis, and ride-sharing services. There will also be a consolidated rental car facility, and a series of roadway improvements are planned to ease traffic congestion in and around LAX. The car rental facility in itself is expected to eliminate more than 3,200 car rental shuttle trips a day, which is no doubt music to the ears of those long-suffering travelers who regularly use the airport. Airport passengers and employees are set to see the benefits of the program from 2025 with the opening of the APM. As well as improving accessibility and connectivity for those coming to the airport, it's anticipated that the improvements will provide more efficient access to rental car providers and relieve congestion within the airport complex and its surrounds. Sustainability is a key focus of the development. The project complies with the Los Angeles Green Building Code, exceeding Tier 1 requirements. What does this mean in plain English? That everything from the construction, maintenance, and operation of the APM system has been designed with a view to reduce the impact on natural resources and decreasing energy use. The entire project feeds into a more general concern to make LA a more sustainable city. Although original city planners didn't pay much mind to things like clean transport and renewable energy, things have changed. Recent initiatives have a focus on reshaping the urban landscape, with green spaces, public transport and environmentally conscious architecture, as seen in these buildings, coming to the fore. Developers and designers are increasingly coming together to address the challenges of transforming LA from a high-pollution metropolis to a sustainable city of the future. So, will the APM project fulfill its potential, or is it just so much hot air? In all likelihood, the APM will revolutionize the passenger experience at LAX, allowing travelers to get to the terminals from multiple handy pickup points via super quick efficient trains. Plus, it's anticipated that traffic congestion around the airport and the wider city will see a major improvement. Great news for both residents of and visitors to the city. But how will the APM fare in the test of public opinion? It's sure to pass with flying colors. Ready to be amazed by the next groundbreaking construction project?
Click on the video now and dive into a world where engineering and imagination collide. See you there.